Arguably one of the most stressful scenarios that any firefighter could face is performing any sort of lay from a hydrant that ends up being dead or has very little to no flow. In this lesson, we're gonna show you how you can overcome that problem using your four-way Oasis hydrant valve. Here, because then I don't need a cap or anything. <laughs> so what you'll notice in here is that when I manipulate this hand crank, right, no water comes out of the two relay pumper port, no matter which way I manipulate this hand crank. That's because the pressure from the uh, pumper at the good hydrant is keeping the clapper valve shut and sending all the water through this side of the four-way valve. We're using the four-way valve as nothing but a giant elbow in this scenario. The key here, and the reason this four-way valve is advantageous in this scenario, is that we don't have to break a connection in order to make a connection. In the video, you'll see that the initial engine performs a forward lay from the closest hydrant. The firefighter that is tasked with making the hydrant connection finds out that the hydrant is dead when they go to flush the hydrant. Rather than getting into a panic and having a chaotic moment, the firefighter recognizes the issue and connects the four-way hydrant valve to the identified dead hydrant. At this point in the operation, what the firefighters should do is call uh, the incident commander and let them know of the situation. And what the four-way valve allows us to do is it allows a later arriving pumper to perform a reverse lay from the dead hydrant to a good hydrant, a hydrant that is nearby or some other water source that we can utilize for the operation. And as you can see in the video, they're going to take their supply line out of their bed and connect it to the from relay pumper port right here. Essentially what that does is it allows us to perform a reverse lay to the good water source. And once we establish a supply from the good water source and charge the supply line, water comes through the uh, uh, supply from the second engine into the four-way valve, moves the internal clapper, and feeds directly to the fire scene. Really what we have going on here is we are only using this side of the valve for the operation. This side here is nothing. And if you notice, when I move this valve and manipulate it, no water comes out, all right? There's no water that's gonna come out because inside that internal clapper is preventing and keeping all the water from coming straight through and going to the fire scene. This is no different than using an elbow. Some people may say that it would be just as efficient to simply disconnect this from the four-way valve prior to hooking the uh, four-way valve to the hydrant and then connecting the supply line from the second engine directly to the initial line that was laid. While that will accomplish the task, I do not personally love to do that option. Here's why. We have all also probably run into a scenario where an engine performing either a forward lay or a reverse lay has a coupling that gets hung in the bed. If the coupling gets hung in the bed on the pumper that is reversing out to the next hydrant, what will happen is it'll uh, create tension in the entire line, including this portion of the supply line going to the fire scene. If there are firefighters operating near that uh, uh, attack engine or the initial engine operator of the attack engine, they can be taken off their feet due to the tension created in the line. By connecting the supply line to this port of the four-way valve, even if that connection gets caught in the bed, the tension will not cause this line to get taut and nobody at the fire scene will be injured. It may, however, do some damage to the supply line or even to the hydrant that's already uh, needs a repair. But at that point, I personally am not worried about that. I am worried about uh, overcoming an obstacle while doing it safely for those working at the fire scene. 